had the hardest time finding you. Looked all over the city, even got lost once or twice. I did find an adorable sweet shop, though. They had these wonderful tiny cakes that were absolutely delicious. Who knew all cakes could taste so good? Right to business, huh? Not even a fine. Good to see you. Fine, fine. Anyway, High Priestess Solgra needs our help. She wants us to work together on this. When you have a moment, you need to go see her. It's a rescue mission, but she said she wants to give you the details personally. After all, you did save her life. I can see it now. Oh, my savior. Let's retire to my private chamber so I can share the intimate details with you. Seriously, Solgra wants to keep this quiet. Said the situation was sensitive. She especially doesn't want the king to know. When I suggested asking the king for help, she insisted that that would only get more people killed. Just so you know. No, doesn't have a clue. That's what makes it so exciting. This is an honest-to-goodness secret mission. I always wanted to go on a secret mission. Besides, once you talk to Solgra, you'll understand. She explains things much better than I do. Have you seen my bow skills? I'm sure Solgra noticed and said to herself, That's a fine young lass. She can put a shaft through an apple balanced on the back of a moving Wamasu. I shall recruit her. Either that, or she was desperate for some help. I'll meet up with you later. Go see Solgra, but don't take too long. Thank you for responding so quickly to my summons, especially considering everything you've been doing to support the king. Did Everly tell you that I have a delicate situation? I could really use your help again. She can be rather exuberant, but I suppose the term is accurate. I debated with myself before deciding to ask the two of you for assistance. But in the end, there isn't anyone else I would trust with this matter. A shield wife from one of the clans sent me an urgent plea for help. It appears that the clan's chief has been taken captive by a fanatical group of... How do I put this? They're members of a religious sect devoted to Trinamac. Yes, but it's not the same. The Vosh Rock are Trinamac extremists who bend the sacred teachings to their own purposes. They've been gathering power and influence at an alarming rate. If they kill the Captain Chief in Trinamark's name, it will give the Orc traditionalists one more arrow to put in their quiver. And they won't use it only against us. King Korag and the Forge Mother have supported us. This will cripple their cause and turn everyone against Trinamak and his followers. Go to Farin's stronghold and meet Everly. Stop the Voshrak and rescue the Chief before it's too late. I just ask for your discretion in this matter. If the king finds out, he'll send an army, which will only result in more death and destruction. Two things before you go. First, avoid bloodshed on your way into the stronghold. The captives won't be immediately harmed if the Voshrak feels secure. Second, I'm not sure which chief was taken. The message I received was purposefully vague. Not much. They're rather secretive, keep to themselves. They apparently wear masks whenever they gather, and I've heard rumors. They've been linked to trouble in the West. This sect is rather new from what I've been given to understand. Well, they weren't here when I arrived in Orsinium. I wasn't aware of them at any rate. Of course, we were dealing with the Winterborn at the time, so anything else was considered a lesser threat. Still, their increasing boldness worries me. Our temple guides people to Trinamak and presents his teachings so they can decide for themselves. The Vosh Rak, on the other hand, shove Trinamak's blade down their throats and tell them to swallow it or die. Such violence is not Trinamak's way. You can say what these extremists have in mind. I'm not privy to their ultimate goal. I would speculate that eliminating a chief who reveres Malakath will send a distinct message about the Vosh Rak. I suppose it depends on what chief they hold. As with the attack on the temple, we don't want to give the captors a reason to act in haste. The longer they remain unaware of your presence, the better chance you'll have to locate and free the Chief. Besides, they could have other hostages. I don't think so. At least not immediately. They're keeping the Chief alive for a reason. 
I think they want to make a spectacle. But the Voshrak haven't always acted in a predictable manner. Of course, other prisoners they hold would be forfeit. I knew you could do it. Did you like the trail I left for you? It was easy. Hide, release an arrow, move forward, repeat. And I was able to stay hidden the whole way. Well, mostly. I did almost get caught that last time. Scared the leaves off my tree, if you catch my meaning. I dove down here to hide and wait for you to arrive. Worked a lot better in my head, truth be told. I found out that the stronghold contains a large prison of some sort, but I have no idea where they hid the thing. Nothing around here looks like a prison to me. Oh, I did hear something else while I was sorting my arrows and waiting for you. A couple of Vosh rocks were arguing. One of them stormed off toward the Overlook. He sounded pretty upset with the cult. We might be able to get the prison's location out of him. Or, you know, he could alert the entire stronghold to our presence. The cultists talk a lot. We might be able to eavesdrop on them and hear something useful. Or we can search the buildings and hope for the best. Either way, let's split up. We can meet back up after one of us finds something. If you discover anything useful, meet me behind the Great Hall. And try not to raise any alarms. The longer we can keep the Vosh Rock from discovering our presence, the less likely they are to start slaughtering any prisoners. Now that you mention it, the Vosh Rock seem pretty well equipped for a deranged cult. I've seen armies that didn't have some of the equipment they're using. You think one of the alliances might be funding these extremists? Your side? Huh. As much as I crave adventure, I never grew accustomed to the taste of war. My clan refused to get involved. Besides, I never wanted to bow down to a high elf queen. What can I say? I come from stubborn stock. Did you get a look at that prison? Never seen anything like that in my life. Yeah, but I can't believe we opened up all the cages. It's a madhouse down there. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's far enough beneath the fortress that they'll never be able to crawl up here. Even if they manage to make it to the old well. Did you learn anything about the prison? I gathered some interesting information, but nothing that helps us at this exact moment. Underground? Like in a dungeon or something? I hope you don't expect me to grab a shovel and start digging. I don't do that sort of thing. Then this must be our lucky day. Not only have we avoided detection, but have found this rope in the barracks while I was looking around. It should be long enough to reach the bottom of the well. Follow me. I'll secure the rope and drop it into the well. Just be careful down there. Who knows what kind of monstrosities live at the bottom of an orc well. Come on, the well is this way. I'll hang back and look around up here a little more while you head into the prison. All right, the rope is secure. Good luck down there. Hope you find the prison and not some nasty sewer or something. Go ahead. 
climb down and do what you do best. I'm going to look around up here a little more. I'll catch up with you later. Just remember, you're looking for an orc chief, so keep your eyes open down there. Interesting use of a rope. Remarkably convenient, too. I'm surprised nobody tried that before. Hmm. You're not a prisoner. I know everyone they tossed down here, and you're definitely not with the Voshrock. All right, I give up. Who are you? Me? I'm no one. Just a humble engineer who built and maintained this prison. Before they tossed me into it, that is. I've been able to avoid the dangerous prisoners, at least so far. Lucky I literally know this place like the back of my hand. Well, I designed it, but most of the heavy lifting was done by the orcs of Clan Farin. The chief hired me, despite my obvious non-orcishness. He appreciated my expertise and sardonic sense of humor. But it was those Vashrak who imprisoned me. Well, not just me, they threw a lot of the clan members down here. And then the bastards, they opened the cages, let the actual prisoners loose. It was some kind of sick game to them. But I never heard an alarm. You must be stealthy as a shadow. Well, this elixir might come in handy. There's a chamber you might come across. Fills with gas if the cell gates open accidentally. A failsafe measure, you see. Drink this potion and the gas won't bother you. I always carry a vial, just in case. Ah, it tastes like barf, but works like magic. Oh, there's also a spike room. Amazing defense mechanism. Unless you're in the chamber when it activates. Remember that it resets if you don't turn the three valves fast enough. No, not if you want to make it through the prison. But there's a fourth valve hidden around the wall near the exit gate. Close that valve before the others, and the trap won't reset. Consider this a reward for not getting me killed.
the best you can do. My hard mother hits harder than that and she's dead. better I think you liked me. So Kurog's pitch shows up again. Are you here to make sure I am still a prisoner? Or has he sent you to cut my throat? Come on, what are you waiting for? Just kill me and get it over with. Or don't you have the guts for that kind of work? Kurog sent you to kill the captured chief. But he didn't tell you it was me. <laughs> How typical. Well, the damn cultists couldn't kill me, the prison escapees couldn't kill me, and neither can you. The Trinimat priestess. She's just like the idiots who attacked my stronghold and threw me down here. They released my prisoners and made a game out of letting them torture us. But the joke's on them. I'm still alive. What are you talking about? After I left Orsinium, I returned here just in time to watch the Voshrock overwhelm my stronghold. I've been a prisoner in my own dungeon ever since. Definitely didn't have time to do anything at the temple. That's nice. I have adoring admirers. But I had nothing to do with them or the temple. Now do you want to chat or do you want to get out of here? My arms hurt, so climbing up the well is right out. We need to find another exit. I do indeed. But the prison defenses are still active. That's going to make getting out of here a bit tricky. Lucky for you, I'm here. First, we need to get through the Chamber of Scorn, where we keep the most dangerous prisoners. Chambers protected by poison gas. If you run into trouble, you'll have to deal with it, what with my injured arm and all. Damn gates. Forgot about them. Blasted engineers always making up always grades. making upgrades. So just so you know, if we don't do this exactly right, we're both going to die. No pressure or anything. 
but I wanted you to know what we're dealing with here. I need to turn the manual override switches in the correct order to open the gate to the next chamber. But this is the Chamber of Scorn. It was designed to hold our most dangerous inmates, so it won't be that simple. As soon as I start the process, poison will begin filling the room, and those cell doors are going to swing open. I'll try to be quick, but with an injured arm I can only work so fast. Just keep the prisoners away from me and stay out of the gas. You let free, love. <laughs> I knew they couldn't kill that damned Breton. The man is a genius. Glad you took his advice. That potion might save your life. You still need to keep the prisoners off my arse so I can open the gate, though. Once I turn this lever, there's no stopping, so get ready. Turning the first lever. Now! Prisoners away from me! Complicated.
Welcome to the Spike Room. I'd brag about the craftsmanship if we weren't trapped down here. See those valves on the wall? I need you to turn all three of them. Just watch out for the spikes. Well, not exactly. Those expensive engineers I hire are built in override timers on the locks. If you don't close the valves fast enough, the trap resets. We built it to hamper escape attempts, remember? It's not supposed to be easy. Just watch out for those spikes. They're reinforced metal sharpened to razor points. They might be coated with poison. Depends on when the last maintenance tasks were performed. Get skewered by a couple of those spikes and it's so long, Hawker. Clever bastard. That must be the valve near the exit gate. If I'd known, I would have had it removed. Circumvention measures can lead to a breakdown of the entire prison system. But as long as it's there, we might as well take advantage of it. Good to breathe free air again. Just give me a moment. I refuse to leave one prison just to enter another. If you plan to take me to Kurog, forget about it. I'd rather die here with my clan than have to see Kurog's gloating face again. Damn right you're not. Make a move and I'll cut you. Just a flick of my wrist in your guts will decorate the floor. Now tell me why Sogra sent you. What kind of game is Kurog playing this time? My arm is fine, but I couldn't get out of the prison on my own, so killing you down there wasn't an option. Now I'll ask again. Why are you here? Why did Sogra send you to help me? Now I understand. Kurog wants to save face. Can't have a rival chief die at the hands of fanatics who worship the same god as our so-called king. Now I see where Kurog's priorities lie. Me. Help Kurog. Where was our so-called king when my clan was at the mercy of the Boshrok? 
Where was he when my people were dying or being forced to join this cult against their will? How many times do I have to tell you? I had nothing to do with that. You want to know the truth? Find Usha. I sent her away during the attack. She's camped outside Faron. She'll tell you everything you need to know. Chief Vazrog, lower your weapon, please. I don't want to loose this arrow, but I will if you don't stand down. Damn it, Wood Elf, fine. But you might as well put that arrow in my heart because I won't let you turn me over to Kurov. So now what? I've never taken an Orc Chief prisoner before. I guess we could take him to High Priestess Solgra. She did send us to save him, after all. I'm sure I can sneak him into the city, as long as he cooperates and doesn't do anything stupid or anything. And it's a perfectly good plan. Really, other than me trying to sneak the chief into a city where Kurog has eyes and ears everywhere, what was I thinking? And how are we going to convince the chief to come with me? Right, sneak Vazrog into Orsinium and get him to Solgra. Easy as bore knuckles pie. Why do I have a feeling this trip back is going to get complicated? You can put the bow down, Elf. I'll go with you as long as you promise not to turn me over to Kurog. Sorry, no. I'm keeping the bow. But I promise not to take you to Fine. Kurog. Just watch where you're pointing that thing. Someone's coming this way, Usha! Let them through. They're friends. It's good to see you again. Though we seem destined to always meet during troubled times. First, the frozen peasants, and now this difficulty with the Vashrak. I try to remain optimistic, but sometimes I just want to scream. My husband lives. Truly, the man is favored by Malakath. I suppose I need to thank Solgra for sending help when I requested it. But where is he? Is the chief well? After the chief met with Kurog, we immediately set out for Farin. He was angry, but he refused to talk about it. We arrived to find our stronghold overrun by those Trinimac fanatics. The Vash Rock fell upon us before we knew what was happening. What? Of course not. Chief Bosrog would never put innocence in danger. Not even if Kurog insulted his honor. Tell me who these imposters were so that I can deal with them in accordance with the curse and the code. Very well. But my chief is innocent. We must clear his name. I'll contact my sources and investigate from my end if you promise to do the same. Now where is Chief Bosrog? Then I trust he will stay that way, or you will answer to me. Take this as a token of thanks for assisting the Chief, and for your willingness to find the truth of the dark matters that plague Rothgar. I'll contact you in Orsinium when I have news.